and Santa's in jail. He got busted for marijuana in his lunch pail. You know what? My skiing days are over. You know why they're over? Because I don't need a busted back or a busted leg any longer. Although I was a pretty good skier at one time. So what I've decided to do here is to dig up, and for how filthy this is, it looks like I dug up an old ski boot. And we're gonna have some fun with this thing for the holidays here. And first thing I wanna do is kinda, kinda clean it up. Cause you never know, you may wanna bring this thing inside. And what we're gonna do here is take this and go like this and this and this. So, all right, it's all cleaned up. It's gonna get dirty again in a second, but don't worry about it. We'll clean it up once more time. Uh, every ski boot usually has an insert that goes inside. You want to take the insert and just get rid of it. It's not going to be any good because it's going to end up uh, probably molding and all of your foot fungus and all that kind of disgusting stuff is probably going to be alive. And Oh, there's a spider. Oh, 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 what do we do? What do we do? Oh, it's a black widow too. It was a black widow. Oh my goodness. Okay. It is no longer. So with that being said, how many people are going to get mad because of that? It was a black widow. It was too. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> all right. So we have. <laughs> you should probably. You should probably go like this first. <laughs> okay. Look at it. It's even got some water in it. That tells you how how well I've taken care of my stuff. Right, obviously, this is the pretty side because you have all your buckles and things that are going on in there. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to fill this up with some soil because we're going to make a planter out of it. How fun is this? And you could do a lot of things with this. You could put a poinsettia in here, make it really for festive for the season. Or what you could do is uh, do what we're going to do. I just have some um, plants over here that looks like they're a little bit on the abused side. So I figured, you know, we're going to take some of these and we're going to put them in here, make a little succulent planter. And by the way, this might end up lasting a very long time because look how much soil is going to be in here. Your roots will literally travel through this whole thing and it'll last a long time. I mean, think about it here for a second. If you got a pot, here's a pot right here, right? If you have a pot, look at the size difference, right? You have a pot right here, a plant will last in here for such a long time. If this is just a different configuration. I would probably maybe even drill some holes on the side just for tickles for, for uh, so that the water doesn't sit around in there. And then we're gonna pack it down. All right, hopefully there's not another spider in there. All right, so what we have here, this is actually kind of a cool plant. This is a uh, African purslane. And right, so look at it, it's, it's on the dry side. Let me moisten this up. You probably would want to soak this in water prior. So just go like this, it'll get in there. Oh, it's coming on the other side. It's nice, nice and wet. Uh, so I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put this in here like this, just shove it right in. A ah, little too, a little too low. Put a little bit more, put a little more soil in here. Because if you don't have that soil just right. See, you know what? You don't want to bury it any deeper than the top of this right here, the top of your, the existing soil, the root ball we called it. So that's probably enough. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's enough. So we're gonna stick this in here like this. Put some soil around it. And then we'll go like this. Now I have some other plants over here. If we wanted to, we can actually do this. This is just a wild look at that, look at how wild this is, right? So let's give it some extra life. We're gonna cut, take this, cut this, we're gonna put this in here. This may or may not take root, but I gotta tell you, these plants are pretty forgiving. I don't want you to abuse them like this, but they're really too small for the containers that they're in right now. And this has the absolute best shot. Doesn't that look nice? Like this, you could do this all the way around. And then, stay with me, I'll be right back. You ain't going anywhere, did you? Don't leave. Be right there. Okay, so then what you could do is that if you wanted to decorate it a little more, you could put a little pine cone inside like that. Look how cool this is. Oh man, this is great. 
I think Serena's getting all excited about this one, especially since I got the, the bells there that she brought. Because I don't own stuff like that. I'm a bah humbug kind of guy, I am. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Now, you could adorn this like this. <laughs> Is that awesome or what? Or would you put it on the other side? And you can even go like this. And then once the uh, season is over, you can just yank these out, put this thing in, a, put this thing uh, someplace in the garden, or put it in your patio. It will grow, and that's the way we do it. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs>